Financial security is necessary for everyone. You could provide for your family members with term life insurance when you are not there. It is not simple to consider, but having a well-thought-out financial strategy is a smart decision. Term life insurance may be an inexpensive solution to cover obligations such as debt, tuition bills, or even to replace a wage earner's salary, ensuring that your loved ones are not financially burdened. In today's video, you will learn what is term life insurance, benefits, how important is and best company who offer this type of insurance. In the classroom, we help people in understanding personal financial, economics, and investing fundamentals. If you want to improve your financial future, subscribe, and hit the like button if you find this video beneficial. First, what is term insurance? Term insurance is a pay-as-you-go type of life insurance that covers a certain period, usually 30 years or less, and guarantees the payment of a predetermined death benefit. It could be a great financial tool when you are younger, have kids, and are balancing saving for retirement and paying off debt. Term life insurance might pay off your mortgage, student loans, or other debts, as well. As cover continuing and future obligations for your family, such as education costs, in the case of your unexpected death. How important is term insurance? According to an annual life insurance barometer study, more than half of Americans live on two salaries, and 42% of households would be financially strained within six months if one income provider passed. If losing one source of income would put your family in financial trouble if you died, life insurance would be the solution. If you want to ensure your family gets income and can pay off debts after you pass away, life insurance will be for you. Some of the reasons behind this are as follows. Pay debts. Save primary residence. Pay for your child's education. Give a cash flow during your lifetime. Cover end-of-life costs. Leave an inheritance. Give your family financial independence. When comparing life insurance rates for a term or permanent policy, there are several factors to consider. The following are the most significant. Age. Age is one of the most principal factors determining life insurance premiums. Younger applicants tend to get the best deal since they are less of a risk to insurance companies. This is because they are more likely to outlive their life insurance coverage than older applicants. Gender. Women often pay less than males due to their greater life expectancy. If you are a woman searching for a low-cost policy, this is excellent news. However, several states are pushing for a unisex law which prohibits insurance firms from basing pricing on gender. Height and weight. Your life insurance prices are also affected by your height and weight. These statistics are used by insurance companies to estimate your general health and the likelihood that you may develop an illness that will shorten your life. Smoking and tobacco use. If you smoke or vape, you will pay more for life insurance than if you do not. Even occasional smoking could raise your life insurance premiums. If you stop smoking, though, your rates are likely to improve. To qualify for non-smoker rates, most life insurance companies require a one-year waiting period after you stop smoking. That may be enough to convince you to stop taking these substances right now. Occupation. High-risk careers might be another reason life insurance coverage for persons in these professions is more difficult to come by and, when they do, more expensive. Family history. Insurance companies value family health history because that could provide a perspective on your own health in the future. Insurance providers use that information to calculate your eligibility and set your prices. Cancer, diabetes, kidney, liver, and heart disease, among other illnesses, are among those that insurers search for. Some people feel that if they keep this information hidden from the insurance company, they will save money. Well, that is not true. Life insurance companies make every effort to verify all the information provided in your application. To present you with an accurate policy and price, they must do so. That means they will ask more questions and, if required, look for outside sources to verify the information you provide. Life insurance companies also require a complete medical checkup. As previously said, inquiries concerning your medical history, prior diseases, chronic problems, and family history are included in this medical exam. It usually involves blood and urine testing to acquire a better understanding of your health. Finally, lying will result in the insurance company simply denying your application. Worse, if your insurance firm fails to detect incorrect or missing information and it is eventually discovered, the company may refuse to pay out your policy to your beneficiaries when they need it most. Another question, how much coverage do you need? Most insurance firms recommend 10 times the yearly wage as an acceptable amount for life insurance. 
If your annual salary is $60,000, you should choose $600,000 in coverage if you multiplied by 10. Professionals recommend adding an extra $100,000 in coverage per child over the 10 times target. Another technique to figure out how much life insurance you will need is to divide your annual pay by the number of years before retirement. For instance, if a 40-year-old earns $60,000 a year, they will require $1,500,000 in life insurance if they expect to retire at 65. Finally, how do I choose the right insurance company? You are undoubtedly aware that there are a lot of insurance companies. With so many options, finding the ideal one might be difficult. Check the company's financial stability ratings to see how solid it is. Insurance businesses are graded by independent rating organizations such as Fitch Ratings, Moody's Investor Services, and Standard & Poor's Rating Services. On the websites of the companies, you may view the ratings for free, although you may need to register first. Second, contact your state insurance department to learn more about how effectively a life insurance firm treats its clients and follows through on its promises. Insurance departments, which are in charge of regulating the insurance business, keep track of and examine complaints made against insurers. Disputes over claims, insurance cancellations, premiums, sales misrepresentations, and other concerns may be among them. Most departments provide data on their websites that reflects the number of complaints received by each insurer in relation to the number of consumers. New York Life, Northwestern Mutual, Lincoln Financial, and Mutual of Omaha are examples of companies with a long history and years of service. Now, let's do a recap of what you have learned so far. Term insurance is a pay-as-you-go type of life insurance that covers a certain period, usually 30 years or less. If you want to ensure your family gets income and can pay off debts after you pass away, term life insurance will be for you. Factors to consider while buying term insurance will be age, gender, smoking use, occupation, and family history, height, and weight. Insurance firms recommend 10 times the yearly wage as an acceptable amount for life insurance. Please do not lie. Insurance company simply will deny your application. Worse, if your insurance firm fails to detect incorrect or missing information and it is eventually discovered, the company may refuse to pay out your policy to your beneficiaries when they need it most. Check the company's financial stability ratings to see how solid it is and learn how effectively a life insurance firm treats its clients and follows through on its promises. What do you think about these guidelines? Do not be shy to comment right below in the comment section. Also, Here's a reminder to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to watch more insightful videos about business and personal finance. Until the next video. Stay tuned.